Um, actually, I was playing volleyball, beach uh, yeah, volleyball, and then handball. But at that time, I didn't have like the right competitive team around me, and I, I don't want to say I was like a hyper kid, but uh, my parents said I need something in Norway I can get rid of my energy. <clears throat> I saw the Tour de France. I was getting excited about these races. We had a German rider in the lead, yellow jersey. And from that time on, I was like uh, wishing I would have a road bike. So I was getting like one of these trekking bikes, kind of. I took the fender off. It was my race bike. And so I started to ride. Actually, I, the Tour de France is like in the summer, in, in July. And then the winter came up and I um, was saying, so what are you guys doing in the winter? Cycross. So then I got myself a bike. It was, of course, like way too big. Because at that time, we didn't have really the money for that. My dad was supporting me, my mom was more like worried about my school. So I was riding off-road and I thought, wow, that is like almost more fun, you know, like you can slide and you jump over roots and rocks and uh, that actually became like a passion, yeah. You know what, I think it was, it was a mix. Um, I never wanted to be, be stuck like on a, on a road bike. I mean, especially not in the springtime, you know, it's cold, it's raining, 150 kilometers in two degrees. No way. With a, with a mountain bike, off-road, or a cyclist bike, a lot of fun. So I always enjoyed the, the mix. But one thing was always for sure, like in a cyclocross race or in a mountain bike race, if you are good in shape, you be in front or you win. On the roads, there are like a lot of different you know, situations are um, involved. Um, and you can be the best, but you're still not, not winning the race. Yeah, so uh, for me, it was off-road like, almost like a little bit more, I mean, real, the real winner. It was a long way because, um, I mean, as a, as a cyclist, um, junior, amateur, professional, you are sitting like on a couple of different bikes and, and brands. And uh, I was collecting like a lot of information, um, good and negative, about the bikes I've been riding. And uh, then at a certain time I just realized um, that I had like sometimes like issues with, uh, with the bikes. So um, I thought um, the time as a professional cyclist is limited and I was just like waiting for the right moment to do something and that was actually like uh, 1992 when I became world champion for the third time in cyclocross and in Leeds and I thought now or never and um, then I was starting a project. Of course a cyclocross bike. It was a cyclocross season and um, I was uh, never happy with the brakes because these kind of lever brakes, you know, um, they give more space, you know, for the time, more clearance, but they break eventually. I mean, especially in rain, you uh, or in mud conditions, um, you're lucky if they break, you know, the, in the time, you know, um, they need to. So I put on my bikes the uh, Magura a combination out of a road and mountain bike hydraulic brakes for the rims, a rim brake, and I could, I was the only one I could brake on the point. So that was the huge advantage. So in the last lap, for example, I was the last one who had to break. So I already won the race before the turn. I mean, then, of course, my passion was already like on, on a mountain bike at that time. Um, so I was uh, producing mountain bikes, <coughs> um, like a little bit longer wheel um, base so that I could go like faster with, with more comfort and uh, had like inside internal cable that I don't have to hassle around with that. And um, yeah, and then of course also um, road bikes as well because I was race, uh, racing as a pro on, on a cyclocross bike, on a road bike and on a mountain bike. And these changes always, you know, sitting on different bikes, even I was racing on the track, so like six day races on the track. Even that was a very good experience for me because there I figured out and learned uh, that a very narrow bottom bracket is very important for you to have a good and comfortable high spin. So that high spin I had also on my mountain bikes and I could do because I used like a very, very small and short axle. 22, 23, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, and then I was getting like more and more like um, involved in the business and um, um, then I was doing like marathons, like longer race, 120 kilometer on a mountain bike. Uh, I won a few of them, um, but I really enjoyed it, but it was like quite long, you know, like sitting there for 120 kilometer on a mountain bike. 
but it was uh, it was good and uh, and then I was just like going down because um, 99 2000 I stopped my career I did I had a few bad accidents I mean a couple of them but two very bad ones where I almost almost broke my neck and I had to suffer with headaches and uh, that was actually the reason why I had to stop I mean the good thing about that liberation was um, I was I was the owner I was I was the founder the owner and uh, I was the racer so I was doing like my, my own marketing exactly where I wanted to with a smile when I needed and with no smile when I didn't need it so um, it is of course uh, today like if you start today something like this then you have to you know buy a professional cyclist and um, he has of course um, to do it you know the way you would would love to do it but there's always like doesn't really like 100% match so that was like a good adventure of when I was riding when I was getting my own team also my own team rider and it was not that they have to be fast they also have to have like a charisma you know like a personality yeah. and they have to have knowledge about the bike technique because there are a few cyclists they can ride but if you tell them you know like like change a tire they they break the finger yeah, yeah. and so it was for me very important when i was like developing the bikes they had like three guys around me and we tested like the same bike maybe i had a bad day i would say you know what this is crap what we put on and the other three would say wow that is great then i had to overthink it and so the the, the mistakes you can put like in a bike it was like very limited um, the little problem what we had in our partnership was like French people are very French so um, it was hard to, to talk to, to most of them because most of them they only spoke French and I mean if you want to be like a global brand then it's nice you know if they like all speak English so we, we, we need like a team with more like internationally um, orientated and um, so we took right now like a, like a break and, and see what's on the market and then for 2018 um, I hope so because we are a brand we, we came from racing that was the purpose and we want to give um, also the professional cyclists advantage of this bike as well as anybody customer who enjoys and loves riding yeah I mean the, the, the e-bike will I think take take a big uh, a big place um, I think it, it depends on, on everybody some say like like e-biking is cheating I, I don't see any cheating on that I mean I have the whole variety of bikes at home and if I'm on my own I have to choose one I would say 85% I take the e-bike so I mean I'm not saying doing that because I get paid because I enjoy it and I like immediately smile I also have a smile with my enduro bike and when I'm doing like some crazy trails and some some jumps uh, as well so the mix the adventure that is what I love about e-bikes will be a big part of the future I think we're much more relaxed and um, I always even when I was wasn't winning I was like still smiling and uh, a bike should put a smiley face a lot of cyclists uh, I mean especially other brands they have like that that like unfriendly face and uh, something really scary so um, I want to be happy and um, happy people should ride focus and if they're not happy then they get make it happy <laughs> when they ride it because I, I remember when I was racing and I was feeling bad in a race and I was putting even I was feeling bad the smile on my face it made me immediately go better maybe it was just a feeling right. but it helped